Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as I come into Meyer here, I notice they got green grapes on sale. 99 cents a pound. Black seedless grapes, $1.49 a pound. It's a good deal. Eventually, I feel they're going to have to sell this corn for a lot cheaper because they just can't seem to dump it all out here. It is five for two dollars. Uh, you do have to buy five to get this deal here at Meyer, though. The only apples I see on sale this week here at Meyer are the Rave apples, dollar ninety-nine a pound, regular price two sixty-nine a pound. I know some people are asking about Golden Delicious apples. I haven't seen those in a while, so I really don't know. Um, Cosmic Crisp, Jazz, and Envy apples are all two thirty-nine a pound. Granny Smith, Fuji, and Gala are $1.99 a pound. I noticed they have the Blake's apple cider back in. This is really good apple cider. However, it has gone up in price. Surprisingly, the half gallon is still $4.99. That's what it was last year. But they had the gallon usually on sale for $5.99. It is $7.99 this year. Regular price last year was $6.99, but they always had it on sale for $5.99. So hopefully that sale comes back. It's really good apple cider right here. So it says sale for these peaches and nectarines. However, this is not the sale. This is the regular price. So I don't know why they would put these signs up here. I mean, unless they went up again, we'll have to check the aisle. I did want to quickly point out that they have the three pounds of Gala and Fuji apples here on sale, $3.99. That is down from $5.19 regular price. So, okay deal here. Yeah, the peaches right here and the plums and nectarines are all $2.99 regular price I, I don't know maybe they're going up in price maybe they didn't change these stickers yet I don't know but $2.99 is a sale that's whew, boy it's like they have a little bit of a sale on the little personal watermelons here $2.99 down from $3.99 sugar kiss melon still regular price of $3.99 some people are saying these were going back up to $5 haven't seen that yet right here and then they have the honeydew melon, still $4.49. But these will be going back up to $5 soon, too. So if you can find we saw them at Kroger last week for $3.29. Seriously doubt they're still on sale, but we'll check here in a couple days. Then they have their regular cantaloupes here, $3.29. I did find some raspberries that are on sale here. The six ounce package for $2.49, down from $3.69, but maybe the sale of the week here. Blackberries, six ounce package. 99 cents down from 265 which is kind of strange because these were 275 so i don't know if regular price just dropped a dime but i guess it did for the sale but 99 cents doesn't look like there's any limits on these either they have their sweet cherries on sale for 4.99 a pound these have slowly been going back up in price 5.99 regular price but probably next month they're going to be a little more expensive so if you like the sweet cherries i would buy up some now Somebody was asking about asparagus. I don't know if Meyer is really the place to get it right now. It is $3.99 a pound, which is pretty expensive. Last time I saw it at Kroger, it was $3.29 a pound. But I do have to say, this asparagus looks really good. But we'll have to check and see some of the sales at other places because, yeah, it's a little pricey. A little bit of a sale on the greenhouse cucumbers here. $0.99 cents a piece, down from $1.09. So not a huge savings, but a little bit. Trying to point out all the sales I see today. Uh, they got the Cucumbers Cukes, these right here, two for five dollars. You do have to buy two of these with this sale. It's not like at Kroger where you can just buy one for two fifty. Two ninety nine $2.99 regular price though, so buying two of them will save you a dollar. Oh, I notice peppers are going back up in price here at Meyer. They're $1.59 now after being $1.49 for a while. Now we saw about five or six months ago, uh, they had gotten up to $1.69. We saw it one time, it only lasted a couple weeks. They were $1.99 a pepper. We saw it quickly come back down to $1.69, so I think that might have been a mistake. Uh, but $1.59 now, slowly going up. I think the three packs of peppers at Aldi are still $2.69. We'll have to check the next time we go. Three count here of peppers is $3.69. So I guess all considering, this would be considered a good deal. Uh, we've been seeing baking potatoes and russet potatoes skyrocketing in price lately. This eight pound bag right here is usually $9.99 on sale for $7.49. So 
you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, but that's the only sale I see on potatoes here this week. Wanted to point out here, they have some of these fancy cheeses here at Meyer. Some of the Fredericks brand also. Buy one, get one 40% off. Not too bad. I mean, these kind of have stayed around the same price. They've gone up a little bit over the course of a year, but they're always pretty expensive. Buy one, get one 40% off though this week. Good if you want to try a new cheese. Now this is what I like to see. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for free. 80% lean ground beef. Meyer beef here, look at that. Look how good that looks. That's why we like Meyer. That looks fantastic. Uh, so like this one here, it, you know, $5.39 a pound. You know, we've seen this over $6 a pound, so I don't know. It's come down a little bit, but this could just be for the sale. So we really don't know. They have the packs here. Uh, this one, same price, $5.69 a pound. You can get a bigger size here. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value free. That's a great deal. They have their certified Angus Beef New York Strip Steaks on sale, $9.99 a pound. That is down now from a whopping $14.99 a pound regular price. Steak prices keep going up. So when you find a sale, you have some extra freezer space, you might want to buy up a few. Just put it away, save it for later. I noticed the brisket went up here regular price, $4.99 on sale this week. Regular price went up to $5.99 though. That is up from $6.99. Regular price went up to $6.99. Last week it was $5.99 regular price. So we're starting to see more and more things go up in price on meat. So again, find a good sale on it and it's something you eat a lot of, I wanna buy up one. Looks like they got chicken drumsticks on sale again. This time a little more though, $1.29 a pound. Regular price on this is $1.69 a pound. So still a little bit of a deal, not as good as the 99 cents a pound, but that is far and few between these days. They do have the family pack of chicken wings on sale for $2.19 a pound. Regular price on this is $3.49 a pound. So that's a good deal. Also, always check for the little special savings. Usually when they have these, uh, it's pretty close to them having to pitch it. So if you're not going to eat it that day or the day you buy it, I would definitely put it in your freezer. They have the pork loin back ribs here, still on sale for $2.99 a pound. Regular price, $5.99 a pound. So I would make sure, you know, again, I know I sound like a broken record here, but $2.99 a pound, we are, we, are, we are expecting pork to go way up in price here in the upcoming months. So it, it may, it may not, either way, $2.99 a pound. It's probably gonna be a while before we see this again. So they have all these smaller like potato salads and macaroni salads here. The Meyer brand, I gotta say, they are pretty good. They have shrunk a little bit in size over the last year or so, uh, but they are on sale two for six. Now you do have to buy two of these, but some of these too are like $4.99. So you can get an even better deal with these, but you can also use it on this one here when you buy two or more. So you can buy, you have to buy two and you get them for $3 a piece, but you can keep buying them at $3 a piece if you like. They do have some interesting options here that are really good. I did want to point out that Meyer does have their buy five and save five mix or match deal again, which is usually a pretty good deal. But I got to say, there's not not really too much, at least that I've seen so far, that is on this. If you want to hit pause and check some of these different items right here, it looks like we got some mayonnaise, cereal, different broth. Uh, and again, this isn't really like the Kroger. You do have to buy in multiples of five to get this deal, but it is mix and match. So you'll basically save a dollar off of the sale price already so if you see in the small print it's on sale for 329 for this uh, spanish peanuts by planners but when you get to that fifth item it becomes two dollars and 29 cents again you can mix and match you don't have to buy five of these they just have to be on this participating deal and i don't know hopefully you know some of the regulars are on here like yogurt and stuff like that we're probably going to miss some of these today but i've been trying to look for them this is the first one i've seen going through the different aisles so on a separate deal here, they do have Pringles, cans of Pringles here, three for $6, making them $2 a can. You do have to buy three of them to get that deal. And it looks like they're selling pretty good. A Little bit of a sale on some of the Hillshire Farm and Cons deli meats here. Some of them are $3.99 down from $4.99. But here we have Oscar Mayer, the same nine ounce packages 
Now these are $539 regular price, but with the sale at $449 and the buy five, save five deal, once you get to that fifth item, again, multiples of five. You can't go five or more like Kroger. It's multiples of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, that's how it works. $349 though will be the price on this. So good deal on that. If you like Sargento and you have a Meyer, this may be the place to get them. You do have to buy two of them, but two for $6 makes them $3 a piece. Regular price, $345. Regular price at Kroger, $399. So much better deal here on Sargento. So if you do the Meyer M perks, the Meyer digital coupons, you can get ragu sauce, pretty much any one of them here this week for $1.49. They are on sale for $1.99. So even if you don't do the M perks, you get a little bit of a deal. But if you do the imperks, you'll save an extra 50 cents. I believe you can only use that coupon once. So if you have a Meyer and you are having trouble finding spaghetti, they do consistently have spaghetti in here, at least at ours. Now we've been getting comments from all over the country that some of your stores have been low or out of pasta. And that's pretty much the way we've been seeing it too. We've seen it recently come back in at Kroger a little bit, but it has been low. Meyer's a little low here too. They don't have any of the two pound spaghettis but all of their one pounds are a dollar uh all of the one pound packages are a dollar nine here and it is really good quality found an end cap here of the ben's original ready rice they have a ton of it uh it is on an impark steel uh you can get it for a dollar 99 see coupon for terms and exclusions no rain checks or substitutions it never says whether you can buy two or more of these, so I don't know. It might just be for one, but the sale price is $2.29. So if you don't do the imperks, you're going to pay $2.29 down from $2.49. But if you do the imperks, you're going to at least get one of them for $1.99. So I was just walking past this here, and I remembered somebody asked about the cornbread stovetop, and we saw it at Kroger for $3.29, which is absolutely insane. Even $2.39 is crazy. Like that, this was, you know, this should be like two dollars, if that. I mean, and I feel like that's a high price, but two thirty nine, regular price, almost a dollar cheaper than what it is at Kroger. They do have the turkey one here though, on sale until September 9th. So we got a little while on that one, dollar forty nine for the turkey if you like the turkey. But this cornbread one must be popular because this is the one we always see the most missing. Well, I'm glad I had the ad here to see this because they actually don't have it on here. They didn't put the sticker up yet. Uh, Miracle Whip and Hellman's, the 30-ounce containers. Uh, this is part of the buy five, save five deal, bringing it down to $4.49. $4.49 for either the Hellman's, which is regularly $5.79, or the Miracle Whip, which is also regularly $5.79. Now we're going to check some of the coffee sales for the week. We've got the Dunkin' Whole Bean and Ground bags here for $6.99, down from $8.59. And we've got the IHOP back on sale, $6.99, down from $7.99. Tim Hortons, $6.49 on sale, down a dollar. And we've got the Javelia here, $6.99, down from $7.49. Looks like the Costa coffee is finally not on sale. It's the first time I've seen it at Meyer where it hasn't been on sale. Got some of the Death Wish coffee here. Somebody was asking about these, but yeah, it's it's like these keep going up in price. I feel like these are just way too expensive. $18.99. I know some people love these, though. Um, Pete's Coffee, no sale on this. So they have the Fredericks by Meyer brand coffee here. Looks like one, only one of them is on the buy five, save five deal. I mean, I don't know. It's like, this is weird, because usually when they have one, it'll be all of the smaller bags. But it looks like it's just this one here, the Kona Blend, which they've only got one or two, probably because of that reason. I don't know, that's, that's strange. No sale on the smaller bags of Starbucks, but they do have a little bit of a deal on some of the bigger bags. $11.99, down from $13.99, that is for the whole bean or the ground. I noticed across from me here they have the 64 ounce jugs of V8 juice, $349 down from $429. $429 regular price here, which is much better than the regular price at Kroger at $499. However, Kroger did have it on sale for $299. You guys will be seeing this video on Tuesday, um, August 28th, 2023. So you will have until probably the end of the day to get this at Kroger for $299. Uh, if you happen to get there by tonight when you guys see this video. so. Uh, but if you don't and you have, all you have is Meyer, $349, still an okay deal. Better than paying $5 at Kroger or even $429 here. 
they do have the Pete's Keurig pods on sale here for $7.99. None on the ground, but they got the pods on sale. $7.99 down from $11.99. And then they have the Javelia also on sale for the pods here for $6.99. Also, let me mention, uh, so today that you will be seeing this video will be August 29th. Today, on Monday, is August 28th. Thought I would mention that. But yeah, that's a good deal on the V8 either way you go. That stuff's been getting really expensive. They've got the Duncan Pods here on sale for $6.99. Not bad, down from eight dollars here. They have the Tim Hortons Keurig Pods here on sale for $6.49, down from $7.49. Then they have the Mick Cafe. Uh, looks like maybe just the decaf. Either that or they didn't put stickers on this. I don't know. Usually when one's on sale, they all will be. So I'm not really too sure. But either way, decaf $5.99, down from $8.99. So I wanted to point out here, not only did these prices go up, they've gone up like $5 on the bigger packs here. These were $25.99? Wow, that is crazy. Also, somebody pointed out to me too, I didn't even notice like a couple weeks ago, you can see where the Colombian here, the Meyer has shrinkflated to 100 cups. They've literally got the 120 cups here. And this one is 100. So not only did the price go up like crazy, they're shrinkflating. So, still 120 cups on the donut shop and breakfast blend for now, I guess. Some of the smaller ones here, the Keurig Pods, are $3.99 down from $4.69. Oh, that's crazy. I can't believe that's gone up that much. Now they got some sales on the Folgers canisters here. The 25.9 ounce containers for $7.99 down from $10.49. That's a good deal here. And then they've got the decaf also for $7.99. $7.99. That is the 19.2 ounces, I believe. Uh, yeah, 19.2 ounces. No sale on Maxwell House, but they want you to think there is by putting a Kroger replica low price sticker on it. Now, how's that new low price? Okay, because it was, well, it was always $9.69. Was it $9.99? Ugh, I don't know. Maxwell House changes their prices back and forth from $9.99 to $10.99 all the time, so it's hard to keep up. Got the Javelia here, big cans for $12.99. Not bad, down from $16.99, and they still have the sale going until... Uh, nope, that is over. The Duncan one is over. That expired on the 26th, which was a few days ago. Okay. They still have the Cafe Bastello, the small can here for $4.49. And that is good until September 2nd, along with the brick, 10 ounce brick here for $3.49. And that is good till September 2nd as well. Some of the smaller packs of the Twinings Tees here, $2.99 down from $3.99. And then they still have the Bigelow Tee on sale here for $2.79 which we saw the regular price go up from $339 to $359. And we're expecting this to go up again because Kroger is selling it for $4.29. Absolutely insane. But $279 on sale. This is good until September 9th, 2023. So get to Meyer. If you don't have a Meyer close, maybe check online and see if maybe you can order through Meyer somehow. I know a lot of people on the channel that drink this Bigelow tea and who knows when we'll see these kind of prices again. Someone asked if I could check for the Silk Coconut Milk. They do have it here at Meyer. However, there are only a couple of them. Uh, we've gotten comments on this one before. It is hard to find. This is one that doesn't really come in that often. Usually find it here at Meyer or surprisingly Walmart. So if you don't have Meyer, maybe check Walmart. They do have the Silk Almond down here for the same price, $3.59. I feel like that's still an okay price here at Meyer. We've seen that up around $4 or more in some places. They do have the Meyer almond milk here for $2.69. We've gotten good comments on this. Someone asked if I could check some of the prices of cottage cheese. Didn't say where specifically, but here at Meyer, $4.99 for the big container of it, $2.75 for the medium sized container, and $1.99 for the smaller container. Now this one used to be $3.99. Now, it's been a while. It's been like a year. But this one for $2.75 has been $2.75 as long as I can remember. And the smaller one here has been $1.99 for as long as I can remember. The only one that's changed is the bigger one. I gotta say, either they haven't put up a lot of the stickers for... I mean, today's Monday, so their sale started yesterday on Sunday. I'm not finding a lot of these buy five, save five deals. Um, they do have these pita crackers here. I'm just trying to point out any ones I can at this point. 
buy five save five on the townhouse pita crackers these kind of crackers right here the flip side stuff like that brings them down to 249 on sale for 349 but when you get to that fifth item 249 Crisco vegetable and canola oil the 40 ounce containers 599 is the regular price but I mean 559 for the vegetable 599 for the canola so it is going to be a lot cheaper than Kroger when Kroger isn't on sale they're 649 for the vegetable 699 for the canola but they have the 48 ounce containers of vegetable oil by Meyer on sale for 379 and then the canola oil is surprisingly cheaper at 359 usually it's the other way around checking out some of the flour here they have absolutely no sales on any of the gold metal or Meyer brand well Meyer brand's never really on sale but it is cheap five pounds bleached or unbleached for two dollars and 39 cents they have the 10 pounds here for four dollars and 89 cents but they do have the king arthur 10 pounds of flour regular price 10.99 down down to 7.99 so good deal there a lot of these too have been going way up in price in some other stores so I don't know. I kind of question the stickers. Anytime you ever have anything in question, make sure you take a picture of it. You know, maybe some, they should give it to you for the price that it is on the on the thing here. We've got the 10 pounds of Meyer sugar still sitting at $7.29. That was $6.99 a little while ago. And sugar has just constantly gone up. They got the four pounds here. This went up four cents. This was $3.15. Now $3.19. So not a... Uh, you know, we saw where Domino went up a dime last week. It was $4.79. Now $4.89 uh, for the four-pound bag. $4.99 at Kroger. Still $3.79 for the pure granulated cane sugar. So same as Domino, basically, for $3.79. So same size, four pounds, and you're saving $1.10. And yeah, they got the big cans of Bush's Baked Beans back on sale here. $2.25. Got the big cans. Down from $2.59. Not bad there. Got some of that. Somebody was saying the Meyer baked beans were really good. Uh, I've never tried them. Got the brown sugar hickory here. $1.25 for these. So, got the little teeny tiny small can. You know, like for me, it's like if I'm going to pay $1.65 for a little can, I'll get the big can, right? Because $2.25, that's a deal. And you're getting like, what, five of those little cans in one of these? So, just put it in the fridge when you're done and eat it for the next few days. That's what I do. That's how I save money also save money by making sure i'm at the right store to make sure i'm getting the best deals on some of these prices why well, we do this every day guys so that we can get you the best deals possible i know everybody doesn't have meyer um, but we do have a lot of viewers on the channel who do but these are the cheapest anywhere guys even cheaper than walmart dollar 29 here right for these cans of beans oh there's a denim one don't ever buy denim if you can help it um dollar 79 at kroger so you know i mean for whatever reason, Meyer is still getting them in and being able to sell them for this price. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we like Meyer beans. Probably, I wouldn't say better than Bush's, but probably right there with it. We also like Kroger beans. So we've used both of these in our soups and chili and stuff, and they're just fine. And they are 79 cents. So way cheaper than Bush's. And arguably, I don't know, I love Meyer beans. I think they're great. 80 cents a can, that's a good deal. What's not really a good deal, in my opinion, and kind of at the bottom of the list for me with canned vegetables, is Meyer. I feel like, you know, I know people always ask, you know, how are Meyer vegetables and stuff? Well, you know, I mean, they're cheaper than some places. 69 cents, though, they have kept going up. They were 65 cents, now 69 cents, so they went up 4 cents a can. But for this price, I would pick great value. Aldi, uh, Kroger's is a little more expensive, but I would probably even pick Kroger over these. One thing is for sure, Meyer is definitely getting in rice, and this is good to see. Now, we've seen it low at places like Walmart and Kroger. Meyer doesn't really carry a lot, but for what they do carry, they're definitely getting it in. Still $7.99 for the five pounds of jasmine rice here, but they have the big Golden Star uh, Thai Hamali rice here, $24.99 for 20 pounds they sell the same exact thing at walmart we've been seeing these come out everywhere they have the five pound bag of mahatma basmati rice here for 11.49 and then they have the enriched long grain rice 20 pound bag by meyer for 12.49 
They also have a 10 pound bag of the long grain rice here by Meyer, $6.99. And then a little much on the Ben's original. I, we can find this cheaper, but 10 pounds for $15.49. We are expecting to see rice go up in price here in the near future. So keep that in mind. Haven't seen a lot of it on sale, but we haven't seen a lot of prices go up yet either, except for that Mahatma Jasmine rice at Kroger that is $8.29 there for the five pounds. Here is another one somebody was asking about though. Got the Minute Jasmine Rice here. I never see the big boxes of this. Never see the big boxes, but they always got the small ones here at Meyer. I know a lot of places don't sell these anymore. $2.99 here. A little more than what you're going to pay for the white rice at $2.69. They do have the medium size box here at Meyer. Oh no, they got the big one up here. Okay. $3.99 for the big box, but yeah, they don't have the Jasmine Rice in the big boxes. Good to see Meyer is starting to get back in some of their ramen. It was pretty low last week, um, and we saw it very low at Walmart. However, Walmart's been doing some refurbishments. We saw it well packed at Kroger, so not much of a shortage. But we have see, uh, gotten some comments where it's been very low in a lot of your stores across the country. So I want to point it out here: still three sixty nine for the twelve packs of the chicken and the beef flavor. They also have the yakisoba meals, which we always get comments on for a dollar fifteen. These are a dollar twenty five at Dollar Tree. Now this one right here, if you can find it at Dollar Tree, is $1.25, but $1.55 here, so way better deal at Dollar Tree. So I know we have a lot of people on the channel that love the Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. One to point out, this is a little bit of a sale. You have to buy four of them, but it is $1.25 a can. We saw these went up to $1.50 a can at Kroger. They are going up in price. We also saw where Hunt's diced tomatoes went up to $1.50 a can also at Kroger. So keep that in mind, um, and they will probably be going up here eventually too. Hopefully not. They still have the red gold here for $1.15. These are $1.29 still at Kroger, but we're expecting those to go up as well. A lot of people have been talking about canned tomatoes. Hard to find. Hunts has been a big one across the country. Some places have been low and out. We saw where it got a little low, not much, but we have noticed some price increases. So that's probably what's happening is stuff going away, coming back at a higher price. I was walking by some of these shelf staple milks here, saw there were a few sales. Always getting comments on these. They got the Planet Oat, oat milk here, $2.99 down from $3.55. Almond Breeze here, regular price $2.29. Looks like the almond here is $2.79 regular price, $2.29. And then they have the Calafia Farms here. Part of this buy five and save five. I gotta say, it's, it's good to actually just see another one of these. $3.59 down from $4.59. But I'll tell you what, I mean, I don't feel like at least for me, I don't feel like it's a great deal with the buy five, save five at Meyer this week. I just don't feel like there's a lot of things on here, at least that I would buy. A little bit of a sale on Chunk White Tuna here by Starkist, $3.99 down from $4.49. I also have the Bumblebee Chunk White Tuna here, four cans for $3.99 down from $4.99. So good deal here. Get them both for a dollar a can otherwise you're gonna pay a dollar 19 a can here for star kissed ah, good deal on many of the different hormel chilies here these are good things to throw in your pantry uh long shelf life uh three for six dollars 239 a can regular price bringing these down to two dollars a can and it looks like it covers pretty much all of them here this ain't bad even the uh chunky beef chili here three for six two dollars a can good deal okay so one thing you may want to do is check some of the middle aisles here for the buy five say five deal i do notice that the 24 packs of coke and i can see down there the pepsi as well both of these included 7.99 on the buy five and say five deal uh, and they also have the six packs of the 16.9 uh, ounce bottles for three dollars and 49 cents on that buy five save five deal too so a little bit of deal on pop so i didn't see this in the aisle there but they've got the maxwell house here big containers of it on sale for 10.49 i don't know if that includes the columbian it doesn't have the sticker on it why would they put that here though um 10.49 for this 11.49 for the big columbian container there that ain't bad even if that is the price some great deals at Meyer this week, guys. Found the, the hamburger, uh, some of the produce, some okay sales. The three-pound bags of apples for $3.99 was a good deal. Um, the, they have watermelon, which I missed, for $2.99 on the Imperks deal. If you don't do the Imperks digital coupon, they're still on sale for $4.99 for the seedless watermelons. 
some of the other things, Kraft Cheese was on the Buy 5, Save 5 deal. A lot of the stickers weren't up at R. Meyer for the Buy 5, Save 5 deal. So make sure you look out for those. Check online before you go to Meyer. Write down the different things that you want to pick up so you know in case the stickers aren't up, you know they're still on that deal. Um, but for the most part, great sales at Meyer today. Great trip to Meyer. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope it helps. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is up. Thank you.